Yo, what's up? This is the Volkswagen ID3 First Max. So uh, uh, you guys have seen that I tested the ID3 before, but that was the the tr like the entry version, and this is the Max, which is the highest trim. And then in the middle you have Plus. So the difference is between the, the their entry model and this one mainly for the consumption test that we will do is the wheels. So in the entry model it's 215, 55, 18. This is you see the same width but more rim and less tire. And also these seems aerodynamic. So some people claim that these rims are yeah maybe even more aerodynamic than the, the other ones. Well I don't know. So that's what we're gonna find out. So uh, since this is a consumption test, not any stuff about the interior, then I won't focus too much on it. Just show you that we are testing efficiency on this, this model versus the entry or the other models. And yeah, there's really nothing in here that could affect the consumption, except for this one has panorama roof. Okay, it's, it's closed now, but we have closed the panorama roof. And also the Max has head of display here, pretty big one. But that shouldn't also, that shouldn't matter too much. We might be talking about two to five watts extra. And then of course, this one here, wait, the other one, the other way. Well, I have to press, there, let me just show you. Panorama roof, that could affect uh, the way air condition has to work because we, we open more of the roof. But I think today it shouldn't matter. So let me see. Just close it again. So we have been charging at 90%. We don't have to measure the whole battery because we have done it before with the same car, except for the different trim level, but the battery should be the same. So all we have to do is drive to the north point and then back again and measure the consumption. But I want to drive all the way to Brumendal first now, and one lap to measure the distance because we always want to check if the distance is correct. And because this has different wheel size, then the distance measurement might be slightly off it's supposed to be 168 kilometers so uh we don't even yeah we don't have to charge 100 percent. we can just unplug and go now and just as last time i will use eco mode wait it was too late okay yeah, switch to eco mode h bug should also be oh this is the preheating here yeah. h bug should also be on eco mode uh, once we press the brake let me see well where, where is it Hmm, this is weird. Well, there, there, yeah, eco. Okay, yes, let's reset. I'm gonna show you now how clumsy it is to reset the trip meter. We are here, we see the car status, battery status. Do you go to data? You see, we wanna reset stuff here. Well, actually, since charge automatically resets, but if you want to reset, let's say, long term, you have to go to vehicle, interior, cockpit. Yeah. Reset long term. Why? Why? You have to do it there. It should be, there should be a button here. We have plenty of space here. Wait a minute. Uh, the picture of this car, it's a picture of a white car. Let me check here. Is this a white car? No, it's not. I want my money back. This is not a white car. Okay, anyway, let's go. Oh, it's also a white car over there. Shit. All right, we're on the move now. And this is a bit different because now we are doing the high speed test first because of the time of the day. So I want to avoid the four o'clock traffic. So we do the high speed first and then we do the low speed. And we have some wind today. That might also affect the consumption, but yeah, we'll see in the end then how it is. But first we have to weigh the car. Okay, front axle, oh, 0960. Oh, that's about the same as the, the base model, right? And then the whole car. Whoa, really? One, oh, one, that's more. That's more than the base model. Maybe the panorama roof, maybe some extra equipment, head up display. Hmm. Okay, let's check Mjösen today. It's quite windy. See the windsock? Well, windsock is kind of kaput, but yeah. Well, actually, yeah, okay, yeah. It's not that windy on the on the lake here, but 
hopefully this doesn't affect the consumption too much because uh, you don't want too much wind especially at high speed test oh oh but let me see if I can uh, spot it uh, there's one very annoying thing I'm trying to catch it from time to time is that see the car reads speed limit signs but very often almost too often every minute almost it will detect 90 zone and then it will automatically reduce the speed to 100 kilometers per hour and I have to constantly tap up the speed again and I've tried to find I tried to search for it everywhere I couldn't find it the, the how to change it so um, yeah that's a bummer yeah you see what no, roundabout oh, okay it slows down before a roundabout for some reason you see oh no don't do that then it decreases the speed to 100 now speed yeah, okay let's stop oh go 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 you see what i mean 90 detected 100 t oh this is uh buggy software yeah it detected 90 zone i have to increase my speed again come on 123 oh no 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 that's too much it's it's hard because the problem with this is that you you have to tap if you tap hard it will go up 10. if you don't tap too hard it will go up one so i have to tap gently no 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 you see what i mean 90 detected no it's 110 there there wasn't even a sign here stop doing that shit i like the base trim better than this one this one is too advanced too buggy so now we think it's 90 zone <laughs> ah. all right so far so good 201 watt hour per kilometer but we have tailwind but there's one thing I noticed with this car is that it has 20 inch wheels, tires, and they are noisier than the, the 18 inch. So we will see then uh, once I test the noise, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is noisier based on the wheels. But, oh, I should also mention that the Max has acoustic glass in the front windscreen, not on the side, only the front windscreen. But does it help? Uh, barely. The, the increased road noise is way, I mean, it's, it's greater than the, the benefit of the windscreen. So I guess what you can do is you can go for the max with, and then try to get 18 inch wheels on it and maybe 19 inch. I have to test plus with 19 inch wheels also eventually. But uh, I will probably not go all the way to uh, Brumendal because I simply don't have time today. So I will probably stop around Tongue and then we can still calculate. The, the distance here oh uh, yeah I'm a noob of course I forgot the configuration for it is here assist you see and then if you go here what you have to do is disable you go to your data cruise control disable road layout preview it's a weird name speed limit preview disable those and then you go disable eco assistance so now it's not doing that annoying braking all the time but it's still showing incorrect speed limits all the time yeah like 90 zones and even even 60 zone so um now at least i can be able to cruise at the, my desired speed and there's one thing that this car has that the the base model doesn't have and that is this the uh, auto steer they call it let me see if i switch it off what's it called again no, uh, there there travel assist yeah it's called travel assist so it has it is an auto steer that works way better than the base model but uh, i guess i have to test it more at least we have some active auto steer now not just some ping pong we're back at ionte and now all we have to do is just charge up a little bit and then we do the 90 kilometers per hour test okay we're on the run again i have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour and now we are at the halfway mark yeah, we'll turn around here just like before Tangen. so so far 133 what hour per kilometer but we have gone downhill and we have some tailwind you can see it there on the flag there kind of yeah so now we go back and then we see you see now we're using the travel assist or the steering assist okay i want to see what happened if i don't touch the steering wheel let's see <coughs> i have no cars behind me well actually yeah they're far behind me take over steering all right and then okay take over steering beeps oh 
oh, 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 it pulled, oh, oh, okay, okay, nice. It pulled my, uh, it pulled um, the seat belt, tried to wake me up, but also slowed down while maintaining uh, the, the auto stair. Yes, very good. That is alles gut. Let me set speed again. Huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, we are done with the test. Now let's take a look at the data in one go. So first thing I did was to measure the distance and it was 92.6 kilometers reported by the car. But according to Google, it's 95 kilometers. So ideally I should go all the way to Brummendal and back again because I know that one is 168, but okay. It should seem like uh, this car is under reporting distance. Now the other car, which has smaller wheels was under reporting by 0.8%. This one seems to be roughly 2.5, yeah, minus 2.5%. So um, it means that um, the consumption on the 90 kilometers per hour test, car reported 146 watt hour per kilometer. The real is 142 only. And then for the high speed test, it was 215. And then the real was 210. And this is just barely higher than when I dro drove the other car with, with the smaller wheels. So it seems like for, for the ID3, even getting the bigger wheels here doesn't mean that you uh, sacrifice the, com I mean, the, the, the consumption that much. Um, as for comfort, I prefer the, the, small, like the smaller wheels with the more rubber. This one feels a little bit hard for me. So maybe once I get to try the plus version with the 19 inch, then I can decide which one I like the most. But uh, you see, for example, Porsche Taycan, when you get the bigger, but especially the fatter wheels, the consumption goes up by a lot more, like 20, 30 watt hour per kilometer. But here, maybe only five watt hour per kilometer, but there could be a difference in weather today and then the previous test, because in the previous test with the other car, we had less wind and wind is problematic because when you have tailwind, for example, we had tailwind on the way north, but then we had headwind on the way back and at high speed, you take a penalty because of uh, the way you get more drag on the return, basically. Yeah, something like that. Um, but okay, so interesting it means that, yeah, uh, should you, which wheel should you go for? Um, uh, unfortunately, if you go for the max, it comes with 20 inch, but the, the max and the regular and the plus, they all have the same brakes. So it means that you can actually buy the max or the plus and then put on smaller smaller wheels if you like or the other way of course you can maybe buy the base model and then get the big wheels if you want them but in the end okay i have to test noise by the way i it seems like the big wheels are noisy i have to confirm that but okay and as for the windscreen the the uh, insulated windscreen um, i don't feel like they are that much quieter than the the regular one but i guess in order to properly test it, I need to put 18 inch on this car and then measure the noise. Yeah. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.